Hi, you welcome to another exciting class. Have you heard about the six classes of food? Mm, I guess no. So today I'm going to teach you the six classes of food. So I would like you to give me your attention as usual as you learn this interesting topic. There are six classes of food and the six classes of food are carbohydrates, protein, mineral, fats, vitamins, and water. I will say it again. The six classes of food are carbohydrates, protein, minerals, fats, vitamins, and water. Good. Now let's talk about carbohydrates. Carbohydrate is important for producing energy. You know, you need energy to work and to play. So carbohydrate is important for producing that energy you need to work and to play. Bread, rice, oatmeal, noodles are common source of carbohydrates, along with some starchy vegetables like peas, corn, and potatoes are good source of carbohydrates. And the brain will not function well without this. What about protein? Protein helps reconstruct decaying cells. It helps reconstruct decaying cells. That means cells that are going bad, protein helps reconstruct them. The food you eat as a child must have enough protein because a child's body grows at a much faster rate than a grown-up. Some sources of protein are chicken, beef, pork, fish, egg, and beans. These are the sources of protein. Now you've seen it's very important for you as a child to take in more protein. Now let's talk about minerals. Calcium, potassium, iron, and sodium are the four most important minerals a child needs. Calcium strengthens the bones and the teeth. And iron deficiency can delay the development of a child. This means if you don't take iron as a child, it can delay your development. Potassium prevents high blood pressure or growth. Why sodium helps to maintain a healthy environment for cells. But it is better to keep sodium intake lower because excessive of this may increase the blood pressure. Now let's talk about fats. Fats are source of energy and so are important for children who need a lot of energy rich food. Fats can also make meal more tasty and satisfying. Fat is also found in meat, chicken, milk products, butter creams, avocado, cooking oils, cheese, fish, and granuts. So you've seen fat is also very important for children who need a lot of energy-rich food. Now let's move on to the next, which is vitamins. Vitamins are necessary for the healthy functioning of our bodies. We need vitamins to help us grow, to see correctly, to form bones, muscles, skin, and organs, as well as to help us fight infection. And we have different vitamins. There are vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. These are the different vitamins that we have. Now, let's talk about the last classes of food. I need you to tell me the last class of food. I'm waiting. Good. Water. Water is one of the most important classes of food. 
it carries nutrients from one part of the body to another. We all need water to survive. Did you know water also helps remove waste products from our body? Mm, I guess no, but now you know. Along with regular water, other sources of water are watermelon, cucumber, and juicy fruits. Now we've come to the end of today's class. I had a fantastic time and I know you had a fantastic time too. See you in our next class. Mm -hmm.